Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just want to give a quick aquaponics update. Um, since the last one, I had some disaster strike. Also learned some pretty cool things. You know, there's a lot of reasons why I love aquaponics. Maybe I'll make a video on just specifically on that one day. But uh, let me just take you around, show you what's happening, and you know, <laughs> one thing about aquaponics is, is if you, if you, oh, you want to be in the show? Hey, you want to? Say hello to the peeps. Y'all go ahead. Anyways, one of the things I've uh, come to appreciate is that you're always learning. And as I set up a system and I think, you know what, this needs to be tweaked a little bit. This is too um, uh, not flowing good or the way it should, I think. You guys can make a lot of air blowing in my mic. But anyways, sorry about that. Ah. Anyways, um... I had some disaster strike. You know, in Florida, we have a really low or high water table. I mean, I don't know how many feet I am above sea level, probably five. But, um, and we had a tremendous amount of rain. I almost felt like we were like in, you know, the rainforest countries or something this last month. So let me just show you exactly what happened and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay, well, as you see, I've already taken off the uh i had the three um the filter system out here i've taken that tank out of the inside i'm going to be doing some inside aquaponic setups i actually have one but you see the way my tank is cockeyed let me go around here where you can see it a little bit better hold on one second so now that seems a bit better see how it's all caddy caddy wampus there famous saying down the south caddy wampus Long story short, we had a tremendous amount of rain and I just changed the way the water sucks up inside of the uh, the tank, the way it sucks it off the bottom so it was getting tremendous draw. Long story short, fish got caught in there, water went dry, rain poured in, filled that hole up, pushed the bucket up out of the hole, bent the pipes crazy. It's still working and stuff, but I was like, you know what, I need to change this anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So that's where I'm at. This is all getting rebooted. You know, I've done it a couple of reboots, but I mean, just you know, even still, you look around the pipe, you see them flowing all over the place. Not bad, definitely not as efficient as it could be. That being said, I do have some nice surprises. Check out this bell pepper. You just gotta love that. I mean, that's a chocolate bell pepper. I, I didn't even know I had those seeds, but I tell you right now, I, uh, I actually about killed this plant, and that's another thing I like about aquaponics is, if this would have happened in dirt, it would have been gone. But I put this this tomato cage on after the fact because it was getting so heavy and I broke off a ton of branches and I mean just ravaged it. And if you look in here, that is actually turning red. So I don't know if it's going to turn red or not. Let me go over here and give you that right there. Nice little, is that a worm on that thing? Oh no. That's my <laughs> clothes hanger I use to clean out these little teeny lines. Um, here you go, looking at the, uh, the poblano pepper doing really nice got a lot of peppers on it you know we've been getting 100 degree days too so for anything to be happening is good here's one of my tomato plants it's a clone i think keeps going here's a tomato on it little story about this one um it actually had gotten the bottom roots clogged in this dutch bucket so i'm actually going to be changing and i did change it in this setup you see the pipe right there before my old set bucket set up, I had the half inch pipe coming just like paper thin off the bottom and it seemed to be working okay, but this one's roots got so bad it got down into it. I had to pull this whole plant out and it was laying on the ground for an hour or two while I redid this bucket. Now that's not going to happen no more. The water's flowing really good, but it did a big time number on this tomato plant. It came back really good but i don't think i'm gonna get any fruit off it like i say we're in the middle of august flaming hot out here uh so yeah but hey if that had been in dirt i might as well just do it in the compost heap this thing here has been giving me a ton of grape tomatoes they've actually been really good pretty sweet surprising i'm gonna be doing some trials too on some uh, micronutrient amendments to some of this i've been doing some research on it i mean this tomato keeps like kind of like going and going um so yeah, there's the peppers, another pepper plant. It's looking a little sad. I've been having a, I gotta get the water flowing back on it. Pineapple, still alive. And I got a few tomatoes coming on this one too. This is like a, I think it's called uh, this one and this one right here. They're like, I think it's called a, 
sunshine tomato or whatever it's yellow it doesn't get orange but man they're pretty darn tasty uh, anyways guys so that's just an update kind of let you know what's happening next time you see this system it's gonna be different uh, so give me some time to make the videos and get it worked out um, and the next video I'm going to show you I have uh, an inside system I built I'm probably gonna build a couple of those because I got to have some breeder tanks for the tilapia and there's no sense in just having the water run through a filter and throw it away so anyways appreciate you guys watching uh, if you have any tips suggestions or whatever don't forget to put them in the comment section below y'all have an awesome day and we'll see you next time